Hello everyone, welcome back to Pascal's Kitchen. In this season, we're going to make a series of delicious, easy dishes. Everything from chilled soups and pestos, simple desserts and yummy crostini. The first thing we're going to do this time around is an eaten mess. It's a dessert that history has it, legend has it, comes from Eton School in England and it's filled with, look at this, absolutely delicious, whipped cream, meringue and strawberries. You can buy store-bought meringues for a very quick version, but making your own meringues is so much more delicious and I'm going to show you how to do that. Making meringues is simple. You just need egg whites. There are three room temperature egg whites here and seven ounces of granulated sugar. So I'm going to pop this onto the mixer. You can do this with a hand mixer as well. It might take a little bit longer. And then <clears throat> we're going to start this. Now you want the egg whites to get to the point where they're almost firm, so firm peaks, and then start adding the sugar. Don't add the sugar all at once, otherwise you'll get weepy meringues. No one wants a weepy meringue. So then you'll add the sugar one tablespoon at a time. Start to finish, this takes a good five minutes, so be patient and don't just dump the sugar in there. So when the egg whites get to the point where they're firm and you can see the ribbon pattern made by the whisk, it's at that point that you start to add the sugar. So I'm going to do that now, one tablespoon at a time. Right, it's got to the right consistency. You'll see it's really, really firm. Don't be surprised when you feel that and you take it out of the bowl. There, good, solid, delicious meringue. So now we're going to shape the meringues. If you want really pretty meringues that look all identical, by all means put it into a piping bag and then you can pipe them out. But if you want freeform ones, much easier to shape, you can do this just with a couple of spoons. Nice and firm mixture. And what I do is I just get a big spoon, it's easy to do it with two spoons, and take out a big dollop of the meringue mixture and pop it on the parchment paper. You'll get about 16 large meringues. You can make them as large or as small as you want. The larger they are, the longer they take to cook. These will take about 30 to 35 minutes to cook in a 250 oven. The wonderful thing about these meringues is that you cook them until the outside is just sort of gossamer thin, just crunchy, and then inside it tastes like a marshmallow and has the consistency of a marshmallow. And that really is the consistency that you want. And keep doing this until you've used up all the meringue mixture. And then we will pop these in the oven. You can use the same meringue mixture to make a pavlova as well. All right, well, I think we'll get 12 out of this batch. There we go. Add a little bit of extra to that one. Okay, we're going to pop this in the oven at 250 for about 30 minutes and the trick, the trick, the trick to see if they're done is that you just pull them off and if they come off the parchment, as soon as they come off the parchment in one piece, you know that they're ready. 
We'll see these in a minute. So these are the meringues and they are just, they're super light. That's the other thing. Uh, when you cook them, somehow they become lighter. That doesn't sound right, but it is. So when you take them off the parchment, they just come off and they're quite delicate, so be careful. The reason it's called eaten mess in theory is that basically you mash up the meringues with the strawberries and the cream. You can do that. I'll let you mash them up as you wish as when you get to eat it. So <clears throat> to put this together, these are strawberries which have about a tablespoon of sugar in them, chopped up, and I add a little bit of water. It creates a little bit of juice in the bottom. So pop some strawberries in the bottom of the bowl and some lovely whipped cream. And this has been whipped with a little bit of vanilla paste in it. Dollop of whipped cream on there and a little bit of sugar if you like. I think there's two tablespoons, two teaspoons of sugar in, in the cream. And then pop a meringue onto the cream. You can always top this with a few more strawberries. And if you wish, some strawberry jam. You could, of course, gild the lily and just add a little more cream. Why not? So I'm going to put this together. Um, <clears throat> Don't add the cream to the meringues too early. You don't want the meringues to be soggy, but you can have everything ready so it's quick and easy to make for a dinner party. This is great for an alfresco dinner. It's just absolutely scrumptious. Voila. Don't forget the recipe's in the bottom. And until the next time, bon appétit.